Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is a confusing one. Let's talk about why export options change. I'm going to cover Premiere Pro, Audition, and After Effects because all three of them have export options that will change depending on what is selected. And uh, this will clear all of those confusing things up. All right, let's start with Premiere Pro. So very simple. I've got two timelines, one with a beach, another with a canyon. And you'll notice this blue line. Whenever I have something selected, the blue line tells me what is selected or the proper term is what is in focus. And one thing that trips a lot of new users up is they think the computer can see where they're looking. Well, I can see that. Why isn't it working? Well, it's because you have to select things and then export. So let's try to export the beach, okay? So we've got this uh, selected here. Go to File, Export, Media. Yay, the beach is showing up. Okay, that's great. We export it or queue it and off it goes. I'll just cancel that. Now let's make sure we're going for the canyon, but this time I'm going to purposely select the, the project bin and have that selected. Although I can see the canyon timeline and see the canyon in my program monitor, now when I go to export, media is not available. And to a lot of users, that's pretty simple. Oh, oops, I forgot to select. But imagine a new user who's baffled at this point, again, because they just assume the computer is, is looking at their eyes, so to speak. I can see it, why isn't it exporting? because it's not selected. All right, let's make this even more confusing. I'll select the beach. And now when I export, I get a timeline, but it's the wrong one. So now they're really confused because they've got two timelines. Why is it exporting out the wrong one when I don't even see it? It's because you selected the timeline in the gosh darn project bin. Let's cancel that. When you select here, you can export out of the project bit. If you want to export out the canyon, you have to make sure this is selected. Now, when you go to export, it's the canyon. Okay, another area that can trip you up is I've got a clip selected and I'm gonna export out the canyon, but this time it looks like it's going to work, export media, but now I got a bulldog. Where did the bulldog come from? Oh, there's a bulldog clip in the project bin. And that's what's showing because that's what's selected because you can select uh, clips right from the project bin and export them out and they can have in and out points. So there's a reason this isn't broken. Some people want to use the project bin, select a bunch of clips and export those out and they'll stick them in the queue with a bunch of in and out points. That's pretty standard stuff. So. Let's go look at, at Audition next, but this is really important. What you have selected or in focus is going to determine what you can export out. All right, let's go to Audition. Audition has something that's similar to a timeline in a multi-track file. So this is a multi-track file here with all of these clips in it. It's in focus. So now when I go to File, Export, You'll see I can't export a file, but I can mix down the multi-track. But what if you wanted to export out this file? Is it the same as Premiere Pro? Can I click on it here and then go to the file menu and no, I can't. You need to open up the file by double clicking on it. Now, when you go to the file menu, export, you can export the file. You can also do that from the multi-track if I wanted to open up this file, double clicking on that will open it up. So similar to Premiere Pro, uh, but the only difference is you have to open a clip uh, and then you'll be able to see it to export it out. Okay, let's go to After Effects. After Effects is the exact same thing. Here I've got three timelines and I want to export them out. Of course, I've got this selected in here, but what if I had the project bin selected? File, export, 
nothing. The only thing I can do is export this to Premiere Pro, but it's not what I want. I want to make a video out of this animation. So I need to make sure that I select either the, the timeline or the monitor. And now I can select export add that to Media Encoder queue, or add to the Render queue, or go out to Cinema 4D Exporter. So all of those things are available. Again, only if you've got the right thing selected. So there you go. It, it's a pretty simple one once you know it, but it can be very, very confusing for a user who's scratching their head again because they can see it with their eyes, but the program doesn't interpret what they're seeing until they actually select it or put something in focus. Hey, if you're a new user and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us a little more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description on the front of the uh, channel. We appreciate all of our wonderful PayPal supporters. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to clear up all these things that make you trip yourself up when you're trying to edit an Adobe application.